Hey, this is Dave from the Shepherd School, and uh, uh, we're down here in the workbench. We're going to make what we call shelf ponics. Uh, basically, it's just a hydroponic setup with a using a cheap plastic shelf as a grow bed. Uh, we've got some uh, little fifteen dollar shelves, and when we put them together, we put them upside down. Now I've got a pump in the aquarium on the bottom shelf, and it runs up here. And the water comes down, and I've cut out some uh, trough ways, and the water will come down all the way down, all the way through. Then I've got a little T fitting here that I've siliconed in. Comes to the bottom side, and I've got it siliconed. It flows down into the next trough, and it goes all the way around into the next one and then it drains into the bottom of an aquarium that I've got some fish, okay? Right now we're just testing it to see how much water it actually sucks up and do we have any leaks and now that we've ascertained that we don't I'm going to uh, put some medium in there. These are sets of our grow bed medium and it's it's clay pellets, it's called Hydroton right? and they use this a lot in uh, aquaponics and hydroponics what we're going to do is we're going to fill those trays up with this and then the water as it flows through uh, this is this is going to be the soil I guess for the plant roots alright here's our rock wool they come in little blocks and what we're going to do is the little lettuce seeds and stuff are so small they would get washed away with the water flow so we're going to put our seeds in here just like uh, you know a little seedling starter tray break them up and then put them in our grow beds you see we've got the hydroton in there All right. and the way this works is the fish on the bottom when they use the bathroom in the water they fill it up with, uh, with nitrates, well ammonium ammonia and other stuff and you've got to filter that out or the uh, the fish will end up dying when they're when the uh, you know too many of their waste products are in their water so you've got to filter it well there's bacteria that occurs naturally that will take that ammonia and turn it into uh, nitrogen based fertilizer and then the the plant roots themselves will then use that and uh, and filter out the water. So the fish feed the plants and the plants filter the water so the fish live. So it's a very um, uh, cool system. And uh, I've got it on a 30 minute timer. So it runs for 30 and then it drains for 30 and it runs for 30 and it drains for 30 and does that continually. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our uh, plants in there mostly this is good for leafy plants tomatoes peppers that all takes too much uh, uh, fertilizer and with my little aquarium down there it just doesn't make enough so I'm going to put like lettuce and some leafy herbs like basil and as an experiment I'm going to use a couple beans and put a little couple pole beans in the corners probably about four at the top tray to run down because uh, beans uh, have bacteria in the seeds and the roots little nodules that are able to uh, pull nitrogen out of the soil and, and, and enrich the soil with nitrogen so uh, maybe that bacteria will help filter the system but uh, who knows so we'll come back in a, in a couple months or so after our plants are out and we'll see what happens because this is in our basement we we'll, should be able to grow stuff year round I've got a plan fits my point of view I'm getting